Here is a Farmall 450 or MD brake disc brake actuator. It's been taken off the side of the tractor. It has actually been pre disassembled. And uh, here we're going to show how it works and some of the mechanisms. Put a pair of vice grips on it so we can see that this bar is pulled by the brake pedal when it is depressed. And here is a clutch disc. There is one on each side and the actuator is in the center. And first I will show how the brakes work. So when we pull on the rod, the entire mechanism turns. And if we look at it from the side, we will see that it expands out. <clears throat> These were not working properly, so we're going to take take a look at what the problem is. I'll remove the plates. These three springs hold it together, and I have popped those loose previously, so that I would be able to operate it by hand. So we'll move those and get them out of the way. And then from here, you see again, this is the same thing we saw before. Actuator, we will now pick it up out of the housing. If I can do that with one hand. There we go. And we can see, I'll set that aside. You can see the, <coughs> the additional disc and the surface of the brake below. There's an identical surface on the transmission case. Let's move on back to the <coughs> actuator. So there is the actuator. Slightly falling apart. And we can see when you pull the lever, turn this side so we can see it better. Pull the lever and each one spins off. It's a very simple operation. Since I've taken the springs loose, we can move one actuator out of the way and see that we have five little steel balls there. They reside in a small cup and they just rotate up out of it. This one, for some reason, has a couple that do not show any wear on them or any uh, wear marks. That may be part of the problem. putting it back together. <coughs> Actually in assembly there's a large shaft that comes out of the transmission goes down the center that you would put a you we would put the uh, disc on and put the assembly in. So let's go back down here. Bit interesting to do one with one hand. There we go. And of course the disc will go on top of that, but we'll leave that off of there for now. And show once again. Let me clamp on to it. Okay, and then hopefully that will help to show the brake mechanism.